Um, also, something that I uh, uh, forgot to mention during the talk, can we be uh, kind and grateful to our parent, parents even after their death? Of course, yes. By doing what? By honoring their covenant. Let's say if they left a debt, you have to pay it on their behalf. You know, by doing Umrah on their behalf, by doing Hajj on their behalf, by being kind to their friends who are still alive. And most importantly, by making dua for them. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, one of the best investments you could have in this dunya is waladun salihun yad'u A righteous child that will make dua to him after he dies. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on, our, on all of our deceased parents. Say ameen. Uh, my father gets very upset if I uh, uh, wear a beard. What should I do? Should I shave my beard to please my father? Uh, wearing a beard is sunnah wajibah. Wearing a beard is sunnah wajibah. Who commanded you to wear a beard? I'm waiting for an answer. Who commanded you to wear a beard? The Prophet ﷺ, right? And whatever the Prophet ﷺ says, does it come from his own whims or desires? وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ Surah Al-Najm, ayah number three. Allah said, he never talks out of his whims or desires. إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ It's revelation from Allah, right? And there are lots of ayat. وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَقُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُمْ So if Allah commands you, if the Prophet ﷺ commands you, and if your parents command you, which one would you listen to? Which one? Allah and the Prophet ﷺ. And here is the dalil from the Quran. Go to the Quran, Surah An-Nisa, Surah number 4. Sorry brothers, there's no surah called Surah Al-Rijal, okay? There's no surah called men, right, in the Quran? And they say Islam oppresses women, subhanAllah. They have a whole chapter called women. Surah number 4, ayah number 59. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sets the rule. He said, Ya amanu. Say yes, Allah. Allah is talking to you. You are patient now, listening to this boring speech for more than 50 minutes now. Why? Because you want to increase your iman. Right? Allah is saying, all you who believe. After that, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, always Allah will say, do something or stay away from something. So you have to listen carefully. After ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. Obey Allah, and then he repeated the verb again, and obey the messenger. But then, in the next one, he didn't repeat the verb. He said, And those who are in charge of you, you believers. This is why the scholars in Tafsir, they said, The obedience to Allah and his messenger is absolute, no discussion. ما كان لمؤمن ولا مؤمنة إذا قضى الله ورسوله أمر أن يكون لهم الخيرة من أمرهم. If Allah or His Messenger decreed something, we'll have a choice but to say سمعنا وأطعنا. We listen and obey. Not like today we listen and argue, or we listen and turn a deaf ear, or turn a blind eye. No, we listen and obey. These are the Muslims, those who submit to Allah. So Allah made the obedience to. The parents, those who are in charge of you at work or in your country, he made their obedience conditional to them obeying Allah and His Messenger. This is why he said, Allah wa atiyu Rasul wa amri minkum. So obedience to those who are in charge, including parents, boss at work, whatever the responsibility of them over you is, it's conditional to them obeying Allah and His Messenger. Is that clear? Same thing, the sister might have her mother saying, oh, stop wearing the hijab, it makes you 10 years older. You know, the brothers are not coming to propose. Inshallah, wear hijab when you go to the house of your husband. Allah commanded you to wear the hijab, and your mother is saying no. But how do we deal with this? This is the second part of the question. We have to deal with it in a nice way. Don't go and tell them, Dad, Allah commanded me, and the Prophet commanded me, and you want to disobey 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger? Do you like to be a kafir? Stop doing this to me. Astaghfirullah. You're not my dad anymore. I'm disowning you. I'm going to wear a beard whether you like it or you like it. Is that the way we should do it? No. In fact, you and I, when we want something from our parents, we know how to get it. Right? We keep nagging until we get it. Same thing. He'll say, oh, shave your beard. Say, inshallah. Don't worry that, inshallah. And ask him, he say, do you know that the Prophet ﷺ had a bushy beard? What if he comes to visit us tonight? You know, if you're walking in the street, wallahi, the Prophet will know me as a Muslim because I'm wearing a beard like him. I want to be like him because, you know, that the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever, you know, imitates people, he will be with them. And I want to imitate him. Why don't we imitate him, both of us, dad? You know what, dad? Allah is in charge of our lives. Nobody can take our life before the second Allah decided. Don't worry. Are you, are you, do you fear people, dad? We should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادِ التَّقْوَى Tell him, Allah said, make provision for the akhirah. And the best provision is taqwa, to fear Allah. We don't care about human beings. Don't worry, inshallah. Allah will take care of us. So you can do it, inshallah.